Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Merch University. And today I want to tell you just this tip that can really help you um, because I think most of you already own or you are already subscribed to Merch Informer, which um, has so many different components in it. And Neil is always coming out with a lot of uh, great things to with Merch Informer. And one thing, if you're not using, I suggest that um, you start using today. And that is the Merch, not Merch, yeah, it's uh, the Merch Archive tool. So we're going to select that, and I'm going to show you what it does. And so you might already know, but for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you. So what it does is you can go back to last year, and you can see what's been selling. So we're going to kind of go over that today. So, um, if you didn't watch my video of the top selling days that I had last year, I'm gonna I'm gonna go there to those days, and I would say um, I think it was uh, November 25th. That's when it started. So we just click that day, and you're just gonna see sales that um, happened on that day um, on November 25th from 2017. And you know, there's 500 results. The lowest price is going to be uh, 11.55. The highest price is um, 34.99, and the average price is 17.61. I wonder if can I change that? No. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go through them, and so you can just kind of see. And you know, we're not going to worry about the official license fan art stuff, but and, you know, we're not going to worry about the dilly dillies. But I mean, you'll see stuff in here that was you know related to last year. So. Um, and so just for an example, you know, and also um, pay attention to the price point. So, okay, so look, we have a dabbing Santa Claus, but it was only selling for $13.95, but it did sell a lot. It did sell a lot. Um, there's a lot of these Funko ones, uh, $15.95, more Dilly Dilly, Funko, Fishy. Um, and I would say this day, it was probably, this day was the start of 10 days of the most shopping days of last year so um, you can kind of get the idea and you won't you don't need to use these ideas I mean you could if they're not trademarked but um, you know a lot of people like to you know a lot of shirts I've been on merch for over two years and I have shirts that have been on that sell year after year on the same holidays so um, so that the whole purpose for this is to say is to look back and see what um, shirts that we're selling that are Christmas related, maybe that are general, that you can see, okay, I can make this type of shirt now, and it would probably will sell. So um, drink up uh, Grinches. I don't know if Grin Grinches might be trademarked. I probably wouldn't be making that. Um, you can't scare me. I have three daughters. Um, I think that the You Can't Scare Me is trademarked, I believe. So, of course, these Dilly Dilly ones, I don't know how they got a, got away with them. I know dabbing shirts were really popular last year, and they are still popular this year. Um, you know, and here's, you know, just some, like, simple, some simple shirts like this. The Eat, Sleep, Repeat shirts. Um, you can still make those, you know, they're not just hockey, but you can make a lot of those. And they were selling them for $14.93. Um, so it's all about your price point and kind of like what is your strategy? I would say if you're on a lower tier, um, this could be a possible strategy for you to get a lot of sales and enough to tier up, you know, so even if you price low. So um, it looks like um, the Christmas, ugly Christmas sweater tees. Um, we're selling so that's a great niche to go after um, I would start making not using um, and while uh, and not using not even using this phrase but I'm talking about more of um, people were buying the ugly Christmas sweater tees so that's just a, a niche you can go after you can make your own you can make your own um, your own uh, products around that and, um, you know, there, so that, that's one, I would say that's like maybe the first one right there that you can use. Um, and you just gotta go, you just gotta come over here 
and you just got to look through here, you know, and find ones where you see, uh, okay, here's another one, another example of the ugly Christmas tea. That's another example, a dabbing Santa again, um, you know, dabbing unicorn, of course, those are all going on here. And, um, you know, just come through here and find the ones that are um, ones that the topic or the niche that you can use or you can go off, make spinoffs. And so this one was talking about people were, hey, people were talking about beer and it had a good price point, 1895 sold 167 so maybe if you like crafting beer or brewery stuff hey maybe there is a good one to go off of um let me see here again uh the ugly kind of christmas sweater funny um niche is really popular uh a dabbing turkey look that one had a good price point 1999 sold for you know sold 149 you know estimate um, so, turkey ones are still selling. Uh, cr Christmas text with, uh, you know, Christmas themes on there. This is my Christmas pajama shirt. You know, don't just take this is my Christmas pajama shirt because there's probably a ton. But, you know, use that whole theme of um, this is my Christmas blank blank shirt. You know, whatever you want. Fill, it, fill in the blanks, you know. Um, this is my Christmas cooking shirt. This is my Christmas knitting shirt. This is my Christmas family vacation shirt. This is my, you know, whatever. Anything that you can think of. This is my holiday work shirt. This is my Christmas work shirt. Any any of those would work. Um, more of these eat, sleep, uh, repeat shirts. Um, let me see here. More of the eat, sleep, repeat shirts. Right. And I just want to tell you that, or just remind you that this is just from one one day. And so uh, the more of the uh, ugly Christmas sweaters, um, shirts. Let's see here. More of the ugly Christmas sweater. So I mean, there's a, there are a ton of things. Um, a lot of fishing ones. There's one about an ant. So. So just if you have this program, come here and look what was selling last year, and get some ideas of what was selling last year because. Um, if you if you read if you've ever read like retail management books um, they'll always tell you to that they always retail places have always bring back things that sell yearly evergreen stuff and they always bring those back and then they'll always add trending designs to uh, trending designs to their um, inventory so we can kind of use that same method we can sell over and over the yearly niche stuff that will sell the Christmas stuff, the, you know, shirts that have the, you know, ugly Christmas sweater theme, um, you know, candy cane stuff, you know, anything about Christmas, you know, that's kind of funny and, you know, related. And I would say make those kind of shirts. I mean, just from looking at what's here, you know, look at these. I mean, uh, I'm not saying you don't use these. Your Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. That's from home. That's from Home Alone. That's a quote from a movie. I would not use that. But uh, you know, again, a long sleeve Christmas shirt that's selling. You know, so there, you'll 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 see a theme here once you start um, looking through all of these. And just make sure that it's not trademarked, not copyrighted. You know, don't be afraid to ask and find out. You know, I still have to go through here and look and make sure everything, you know, if it's not trademarked or whatever. So um, just go through here and look. You know, a lot of grandparent shirts are selling. Here we go. Um, a lot of wife, husband shirts. Um, you know, ugly Christmas sweater themes. Christmas light theme. 
So there are a lot of great opportunities uh, for you just to come in here and you know that they already have cells. So once you come in and make your own versions, um, veterans, I would see when we, it's kind of crazy when Christmas comes around, not just Christmas shirt sell, but I would say all across the board, um, people are buying shirts for every genre, every niche. It's not just Christmas, Christmas shirts only. Um, so look, Papa, Golf Papa, um, you know, Sharks, K-pop, Ugly Christmas Sweater, um, you know, talking about their, sh oh, that one's an official license, I won't talk about that one, um, you know, Dabbing, of course, Traveling, Vacations, um, so yeah, I mean, I'm only on, uh, page two of one day from November 25th you can come through here and look up the next day you know you can look up all of November if you want you know um, come down here you know look up the next day you know do a search again and it'll take you know a few seconds it'll bring up the results and you'll go through them again you might find the same ones that are selling over and over again of course but there will be some new ones in there. So I hope this helps you out. Make sure to come check this out. And if you don't have Merch Informer, um, you can sign up. And it's really, I think the lowest price is probably $10 a month, I believe. And so it's a really good program. Uh, Neil is always coming out with things over and over every, every week. And so um, hope you check out this program. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Hope you have a great day.